How to connect your domain to your Minecraft server. So the very first step is to go to this website right here, it's called Cloudflare. And if you do not already have an account, go ahead and create one. But I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. And once you have signed in, this is what the page should look like. Go ahead and click on add a domain right here. Once it takes you to this page right here, go ahead and enter your domain. So this is the current domain I'm going to use. I'm going to click on continue. I've already connected this domain. And once you guys have added your domain, the next step, which is really important, is to connect your domain to the Cloudflare name servers. So I have already connected mine. So I'm just going to show you guys with this new domain right here. Go ahead and click on your domain. Click on overview, scroll down. And you guys will see the name servers right here. Go ahead and copy them and update them on your domain provider. So now once your domain is fully connected, go ahead and click on your domain. Click on the DNS tab right here. So now when you get to this page, you need to click on the add record button right here. So go ahead and click on it. And now guys, you need to follow my instructions very carefully because this is very important. And if you mess anything up right here, it's not going to work. And it's not going to connect you to your Minecraft server. Firstly, for the type, you need to leave a A. And now for the name section, go ahead and type in ads. For the IPv4 address, this needs to be the address to your server. So I'm going to quickly go to my C panel. I'm going to click on manage server. I'm going to scroll down and right here, I'm going to copy my server IP. Once I have copied it, guys, I'm going to go back to Cloudflare and right here, we can paste our server IP. And finally, make sure you turn proxy status off and for the TTL, it has to be auto. Now go ahead and click on save and boom, we have just created this record right here, but we're still not finished guys. We need to create one final record. So go ahead and click on the add record button once again, but this time for the type, we need to click on the drop down button and scroll all the way down until we see SRV. And for the name guys, you need to type this exact name right here. It's very important that you guys type it exactly how I have typed it right here. For the priority, make sure you guys type in zero. For the weights, make sure you do 5. Keep the TTL at auto. And for the port guys, go ahead and go back to your dashboard. And this time, copy your server ports. Now go back to the Cloudflare panel. Paste in your port guys. And now finally in the target field, you need to type in your domain. Once you guys are done and have confirmed that everything is correct, go ahead and click on the save button once again. And boom, as you guys can see, we now have two records. But now this change might need some time to actually affect your Minecraft server. So once you guys have done everything, go ahead and go into Minecraft. And once you guys are in Minecraft, go ahead and click on multiplayer. And now click on the add server button. Go ahead and paste in your domain. Click on done. And as you guys can see, we can still not connect to our server. But this is completely normal guys. You do not have to worry. If you have done everything correctly, it should take just a little bit of time. So you just need to wait a little. So I'm just going to wait until it's connected and I'm going to see you guys then. So I'm back guys, it's been around 30 minutes or so. And as you guys can see, my server is now fully connected. So I'm just going to click on edit and as you guys can see, it's actually using my domain. And let's quickly connect to the server. And boom, as you guys can see, we have just joined. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to check out all of our other guides, they're going to be right here on the screen. I really hope this video helped you and peace.